Following on, ladies and gentlemen, we have from, um, I think, who are we now? Uh, hello, our next up, uh, next up, is it, is it uh, James Stevens from Lachlan Gales? Here come, where are you from? Ladies and gentlemen, Dixborough! Dixborough GAA Club uh, in the uh, Golden Colours, ladies and gentlemen. And well done to Dixborough, ladies and gentlemen. This year, uh, their uh, ladies were All-Ireland Camogie champions. Dixborough, ladies and gentlemen, with their coaches, their players from, I think it's from about six up to about 36. So well done, our friends from Dixborough GAA Club. And here they come. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, we should acknowledge the great work said by uh, John there, uh, John Dolan from the Pembroke with his uh, beautiful vehicle. And uh, right behind, oh, gone by there is uh, uh, Bjorn, the Irish Wolfhound Association of Ireland. Uh, Bjorn, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, lovely uh, character there. And it was the site of uh, Hounds for Chiefs and Kings, con considered to be a royal dog, ladies and gentlemen. And that's John and uh, well done to Red Mills for their long association with the Irish Wolfhounds Association. Here go more vintage cars, ladies and gentlemen. And the Kilkenny Motor Club will have their special event on the last Sunday, on the last Sunday of August. Uh, that's the Kilkenny Vintage Club, ladies and gentlemen. Here are more vehicles from that uh, well bedecked in the, the colours of the day. And Kilkenny colours, of course. So, um, well done, Kilkenny Vintage Club. And as I said, John was uh, escorting our uh, Grand Marshal uh, Richie Power there. He may be back, hopefully he will. Now we have our, our uh, uh, colour party, ladies and gentlemen. We have Joe Malone, and uh, I, think, I think also we might uh, have a chance of listening to another gentleman uh, who has been on the Late Late Show. He's also been on the, uh, uh, where else was he? He was in, uh, in the Aviva to 50,000 people or 55,000 people uh, to the Viva Lady Devon. I think he'll be joining me because he's not, uh, not a shy person. Here's the Ballycallum, Ballycallum Brass and Reed uh, Band, or Ballycallum Band, and Ballycallum, where have I gone to? On script. Okay. Yes, indeed. Ballycallum Pfeiffer Drum Band, founded in 1870, played in 1884, 1885, Father Murphy wants the meeting in Ballingarry. And here we have five generations of the same family, dating back, would you believe, to 1870. So well done. Just listen to, for a few moments, Bally Callum Fife and Drum Band. behind us and if we could before the Kerry fan if we could have a little bit of a pause ladies and gentlemen because uh, as, as I said before ladies and gentlemen uh, Steve Mulroney where's Steve? Steve where are you? Steve here we are uh, 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 yeah okay so Steve Mulroney ladies and gentlemen is going to sing Ireland's Call he did it on the Late Late Show he did it in the Aviva so Steve, how are you? What age are you, Steve? Eight. And are you involved with Kilkenny Rugby Club there? Yes, I am. And what position would you like to play eventually? Number 10. Number 10, out half. Okay, yeah, or stand off, or go on as you will. Steve, are you ready to perform for us? I'm <laughs> Thank you. 
young people from 6 to 26, teaching them life skills and uh, encouraging community involvement, active citizenship through the team-based activities in the outdoors. Last year, they competed at the Scouting All-Ireland and achieved gold standard. Finished eighth place overall, the highest placing by any Kilkenny group, ladies and gentlemen. They have embraced 2024 as St. Patrick's Festival theme by exploring the rich history of Kilkenny from uh, monastic settlements and Viking and Norman warriors through the... Dancing on the crossroads. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, our uh, uh, bumpless Latvian dancers. I admit it, ladies and gentlemen. I see that uh, uh, 